estas. Okay, good morning. This is going to the scoring phase for RPS 2424760 Professional Architectural Engineering Services for PSA Accreditations. All firms have presented and will now proceed with the consensus scoring of the oral presentations. The <clears throat> they're going to be evaluated based on the following criteria. One, ability of firm and its professional personnel. Two, firm's experience with projects of similar type and size. Three, films. Firms willingness and ability to meet schedule and budget requirements. Four, effective firms recent, current, and projected workload. Five, effective project team location. At this time, I'll turn over the meeting to the committee chairperson, Bill, to introduce himself as well as the rest of the committee, and then he will lead the discussion and evaluation. Bill Hand, chair of the committee with Capital Programs Department. For what can I speak? In emergency management. We're staring with. Capital programs. Laura Singer, opportunity making. Okay, I'll start with uh, criteria one. Uh, what I'll do is uh, put the three short list of firms. I'll go uh, item by item and just go across and look at the previous grades for each category separately. The one that I scored, uh, team location, I'm proposing that we leave that as it is. And that was uh, scoring long for 19 and Watermaker Jensen 17, Wilder Architecture 20. So, for criteria one, ability of firm and its professional personnel, uh, open it up for discussion. Uh, anyone have anything they would like to say before we talk about any potential changes in the, the grade that was, that, that was provided was 28 for long assessments at 31. If you're comfortable on thing and then number. Yeah. I'm comfortable with that number. Yeah. Laura? I'm, I'm fine with that number saying. Okay, I, I agree. For Wanamaker, Jensen, Architects, for ability of firm and professional personnel, would previous, previously agreed to score 25 for that ability. I am okay with that. Okay. I'm good with that. It's so All right. And then while the architecture, we had given them a score of 27 for ability of firm and professional personnel. Any comments on that previous score? I'm okay with that. Good with that score. Okay. 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 So then we'll move on to criteria two, firm's experience with projects of similar type and size. Uh, Swarming Associates is the first one we'll talk about. Uh, we had previously given a score of 26 out of 33. Can you do that, please? Yeah. Thank you. All right. For Wanamaker Jensen, we also gave them a score of 26 out of 33. Pardon? I am okay with that. I'm okay with that school. I agree. Okay. I agree. Moving on the Wilder architecture for firms experience with projects of similar type and size, they were given a score of 24 out of 33. Uh, I will mention that they did bring up this FDA project, which I don't think was in their original proposal, uh, or at least I did. It wasn't highlighted. Can we get a 25 for that? He's got from that cross sheet. However, I'm going cross sheet. Coming under the design for several years. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Firms' willingness and ability to meet schedule and budget requirements. Uh, we gave Long Associates a six out of eight for schedule and budget. Any thoughts about that? I, 
I, I like the way that they present it and they put an emphasis on their uh, willingness to meet the schedule. Uh, they have a front farm, they have everybody in the house. That might lead into some coordination uh, efficiencies. I mean, even more. I am almost convinced that we can bring the number up one number to seven. Yeah, I agree. And in the presentation, uh, the library they presented um, potential figures and how they would move through that, giving us a better idea of currently where we're at in the market. So I, I agree as well that we can increase that. Okay, I don't support changing that. So. Okay, the next one is Winemaker Denson. Firm's willingness and ability to meet schedule and budget. We gave them a seven the last uh, story. I, I think that they substantiated that they can do the work, and seven is a, is a, is a reasonable number for what uh, we present to them. I agree. I agree as well. Okay, so we'll leave that one the same. Yeah. The law of architecture for firm's willingness and ability to meet schedule and budget. Uh, we had previously assigned it across four or five. I, I would keep it at five as well. I agree. Four. I agree. Too. Okay, I agree. Criteria four effective firm recent current and projected workload. Uh, one of the associates would be in the seven out of eight. I'm going to leave it at seven on two. Okay. Yeah. I agree. I agree with the seven. With the seven, I agree. Watermaker Jensen for firms recent, current, and projected workload we previously given on the seven. I would keep it as seven as well. I agree. That's important. Okay, I would agree. For firms recent, current, and projected workload for Wilder, we gave them a four. I'm okay with that, keeping it in my knees. I'm okay with that. I agree. All right, we got as is. As I previously said, we'll leave team location. Those scores were 19, 17, and 20. Yes. Any other comments, George? To confirm the scores, I think. Long Associates, criteria one, 28. Criteria two, 26. Criteria three, seven. Criteria four, seven. Criteria five, 19. For WJA, Long River Justin. Criteria one, 25. Criteria two, 26. Criteria three, seven. Criteria four, seven. Criteria five, 17. Father Architecture Inc. Criteria one, 27. Criteria two, 24. Criteria three, five. Criteria four, four. Criteria five, 20. The bonus points awarded to Long Associates have remained the same. At 14 for a total of 101. For WJA, their bonus points were 17 for a total of 99. Water Architecture was awarded 14 bonus points for a total of 94. Rank one firm, Long Associates. Rank two firm, Watermaker Dunston. Rank three firm, Water Architecture. Rank four firm, CPH LLC. Rank five firm, The Launch Group. Additional comments. We need to sign. We will. Good. I'll now end the recording.